them or the polyps will overgrow each other. Plus, they all have their special names for temperature and salinity and all that. So this is the table where I'm growing blue jellies. You can take a close look. You can see there's a whole bunch of different sizes. I got some small ones here. They're just uh, going from their fire stage to the booster stage. They're still pink. These ones here are about a centimeter diameter range from maybe three centimeters all the way up to these ones, which are probably more like a few inches in diameter. Um, I have these special containers that I made. They're pretty cheap and easy to make. And basically the water flows in from the filtration, which is bad here, um, into the tank. And it circulates it kind of around in a big movement like this to keep them off the bottom. Then the water flows through the screen and out the holes in the back and onto the table. And it goes down the screen here. And the reason they're all sitting in water like this is because I have chillers back here that are keeping the water cold. So rather than having to chill every single individual tank, I just stick it in a big tub of cold water and it keeps everything else cold. It's a good way to um, I've got polyps up here.
Does anybody want to reach in there and get them for them? Why don't you always bump into each other? 